All right, well, I'm Chris. Uh, I'm a missionary in the Pei tribe in Papua New Guinea. Um, and uh, part of the whole uh, missionary position is uh, being able to actually document a language and, and teach your people how to read and write their own language. And so the, the whole process of all this linguistics junk, um, you end up with like an alphabet and you have to teach people who've never even held a piece of paper uh, how to how to read uh, their own language. And so um, one of the huge ways we actually start this whole process is by uh, this pre-reader. We developed one of these and um, on the first page here we just uh, we have stuff that um, that is culturally familiar to uh, our audience, our, our pay guys. They're they're live in the jungle, they're hunters and gatherers and they see footprints and tracks and they'll draw arrows on the ground to kind of like indicate uh, direction. And so we're trying to kind of just like hook into that uh, cultural uh, thing in their, in their, in their worldview, something that they're familiar with, um, to kind of just uh, build on that. And um, what we're trying to communicate here on these first couple pages um, is, uh, is being able to distinguish direction and seeing that like come off of a two dimensional page. And so here on the first page here, um, it's just kind of an activity book, really kind of elementary, but um, on each row here we have some footprints going in one direction or another. And uh, man, our guys have never really thought through, you know, like orientation of a page, like we'll have some of these old guys like holding the book like this, you know, they don't <laughs> really know what to do with it, you know? And so like, we're just trying to start to teach that. And so direction on a page, which one of these things is different? One of these things just doesn't belong. Um, and so the, the arrows are pointing the wrong direction and, uh, we're going to try to get them to read from top to bottom, left to right. Um, and so other things that they're familiar with moving from left to right, um, uh, it's like I said, just an activity book, um, so far, but the next thing that we're trying to get, um, is actually this, uh, kind of idea of, of uh, being able to actually communicate something more than just direction and actually get a story off of a page. Um, and so here there's actually, there's actually like a payoff, um, for being able to, um, being able to extract data off of a two dimensional piece of paper in a sequence. And so, um, uh, here, um, we have a guy who's just cut down a tree and then he's carrying, uh, the tree that he's cut down, um, over to, uh, put it in a hole. And, uh, you can't really do that process backwards. Uh, it only works one way and our guys would know that. And, um, so actually seeing this, uh, play out in a sequence, one frame after another frame after another frame, um, is going to communicate a story, um, without even having to read. As long as you can look at the picture and understand what's going on in the picture, um, you can understand, uh, this story and the same thing down here, uh, bring the firewood, make the fire and, uh, then eat after you've made a fire and cooked, obviously, um, there's information that's left out, but, uh, the big thing is that you can't do one of these things without the other. Um, and there is a, a definite progression. There's the definite way that this story needs to be understood. Um, uh, there's a sequence. And so, um, using that, uh, tool, uh, we're going to teach them now to read from top, uh, to skip a line down and start from left to right again. And so, here we're scraping the bark off the tree, and then we're beating the bark and and uh, flattening it out, and we're processing it some more, and then we end up with a piece of cloth, essentially made out of bark. And you can't do this the other way, um, and that's that's really important for them, uh, for tribal guys without any literacy experience at all, who've never written uh, read a word off of a page to be able to understand that. And uh, and again, you know. Um, and once they can get that, uh, it's actually pretty easy to get. Um, we see two-year-olds uh, getting it, you know, uh, playing with the iPads, and that's the way the letters show up on the iPad, you know, from left to right, top to bottom. And so, uh, yeah, that's just a little bit of uh, how we have to do literacy in a completely um, isolated, really remote tribe in New Guinea. Thank you, Chris. No problem. Hope that hit all the bullets that you wanted to get. <laughs> yeah, awesome.